How many people have seen me knock my dog <laughs> slam unconscious? Luckily, we were not rolling cameras when that happened. So Badge catches the fish. He, he pulls the fish up. He smacks the fish on the side of the boat. That's nice. right. And he said, I just daryled him. <laughs> did you leave that in a video? Yes, he did. Did you put that in a video? <laughs> no. Yeah. I don't Nobody know. knows what that meant but <laughs> Megan. <laughs> what? All right, we all good? And they knew Ayo. <laughs> oh, I'm sure they did. Uh, I hope we ain't live. Well, no, we, we are, but we, we, are can, now. we can start it wherever whatever we want to. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Fishing After Dark with the Beard and the Badge. And obviously, we have a special guest in the house, neighbor Daryl. Yeah. But uh, we got a bunch of crazy stuff and cool stuff to talk about today. But first, you already know what's happening, Badge. Read them. You, you know what's happening. We got to do our, uh, this is how we make our money, uh, Daryl. Oh. I didn't know you how you made it. I've, I've seen y'all about half naked out there on yeah. the highway. I didn't know how you made it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the Fishing After Dark part. Oh, wow. The Fishing After Dark podcast is brought to you by Carl's Bait and Tackle, which is the Internet's local tackle shop. Carl's is a premier destination for all things fishing. That means rods, reels, tackle mm. bundles, Guggen baits, name brands, you name it, they got it. So visit Shop Carl's for quality products. Great prices, great service. Service. So we'll talk about great. them more later Does on. Does Carl's do saltwater stuff? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They've got tons of stuff. Well, good. Because yeah. my son, when we were talking about earlier, is, is a right. saltwater fisherman, and he needs to get hooked up with him then. Yeah, we do. Yeah. 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 What is, what's the name of your son's uh, charter? It is Southern Renegades. Southern Renegades. Yeah. And that's, yeah. where, where is he out of? Like, where At uh, Freeport, Florida, but he fishes like Destin right. and, and – uh, uh, Panama City area. So just yeah. all over kind of the panhandle, the Gulf side of the panhandle. Yeah, yes, exactly. Between, okay. Yeah, the Chocolate Hatch Bay area. Yeah, and we've actually got some plans to go red fishing with him, hopefully in October. Yes, you do. Yes. And so that's going to be fun, yeah. Yep. So if you guys are ever in the area, Southern Renegades, is that what it is? Southern Renegades Charter, yeah. There you go. Yep. So look them up for sure. Look them up. And uh, before we dive into this any further, I've been getting much better at this, but what we do, Daryl, is we read, we get a couple uh, reviews online and we'll read them. So got three reviews today from apple podcast we got one from joshua west 04 he says that the, the subject of the comments best podcast he says this podcast is great and hashtag daddy lojo always brings the laughs oh. why aren't you bringing the laughs man I, why is it lot, just daddy lojo? a lot of people just don't <laughs> like my humor you're a yeah. you're a coughing fit over there today yeah. man. Look, me and me and badge <laughs> have been fighting just different versions of covid and i do uh, want to say though to, to all the people watching we are being responsible we we know that daryl does not want covid that's well, right he's been very vocal about that <laughs> And but, I've been vaccinated. You have right. been vaccinated, and, we, and we've been tested, and we're so yes, we're I actually yeah. got tested the other day, and I'm yeah. I am clear. I don't and, know what the heck's and, wrong and, with me. And but. plus, I'm real good about STDs and COVID. So I, yeah, <laughs> that's good. Be good. Yeah, there yeah. you go. You got to stay on top of that kind of stuff. That's yeah. right. We got another review here from Range Rat 420. Range Rat. I hope that's not our boy 420 PPs, but uh, he said, "Fish on." Lojo and Badge are the dynamic duo of fishing. Very true. Very good point. Hard to argue with that. Did you pick the only comment? That complimented your humor? No, I just went. I just found the first three that were okay. five star comments. I right. call bull. <laughs> <on that. laughs> hey, you could you could do them next. I'll let you do them next time. I'll let you pick one that says something about badge. Uh, I'm all right. This one's from Jake Dad with three D's, triple Jake D. Dad says it's his favorite podcast. Always funny to listen to. Great guys. So we love. You're a great guy. Hearing feedback. So remember, guys, if you're listening to this on Spotify or Apple, especially Apple Podcasts, you can leave a five star review. And leave a, a review, an actual written review. We may read it on the air. So if you're watching on YouTube, guys, smash that thumbs up button. Make sure you're subscribing to this channel. That way you guys don't miss an upload. So Daryl here today, we actually just got done a couple, like 30 minutes ago from an advanced tutorial of how to catch fish in my backyard pond and then how to clean them and cook them your, your special way. Yes, because you got some you got some recipes, man. You got a, a chef. Man. In fact, well, you showed I, us a book that uh, yeah, we, we may try to publish one day because it's got that many recipes. In yeah, it. I spent like I said, I spent like thirty two years in the woods working in the woods, and I have cooked many a meals on the side of a river bank with nothing but a shovel and a you know some charcoal lighter and yeah. a match. I was so. gonna say, I mean, just being a game warden, you're you're outdoors all the time. Your hours are probably insane. Oh yeah. So you probably just have to learn how to cook things on the fly and make them good. Yes, I mean we work. 
you know, when I when I worked for years, we worked best eight out of twenty four, which means in a twenty four hour period, you worked any eight hours you wanted to. Mm-hmm. So we worked. You know, you might work till three o'clock in the morning, have to be at court at eight o'clock in the next morning, and have to work the next night. So I mean, you never had the same hours. We you, right. You, you always mixed up hours. It's probably really similar to the military in that way. Like I've got a little experience with that. Obviously, I was in the military for six years so i mean you know when you're in the field or when you're deployed or whatever you only have a certain amount of food and it's normally not very good so you have to get creative and make it good exactly you know? exactly i mean we'd, we'd go up and later on in, in my later life we we were we used to spend and camp on the river for for one week out of every month in the in the winter time yeah and uh we had some pretty gourmet meals back then but yeah early yeah. on we pretty much lived off the land what yeah. was your fish of choice like at that point in time? Running mullet, the river and stuff? mullet. Mullet. You ate really? mullet? Oh yes. Really? Mullet is still my fish of choice. Really? Oh yeah. Why don't you like it, Badge? Or you I, seem like you were kind of shocked that he—that's what I, he ate. For some reason, I thought mullet was like a junk fish. Well, a lot of people, he, yeah. a lot of people from Louisiana don't eat mullet because if you ever been to Louisiana, you wouldn't eat mullet either. Why is that? Just because the water's so nasty. There? Yeah, ah. they're they're bottom feeders. Okay. You know. And you probably had a way to make them good too. You probably found a way to really make and them good. And we caught mullet at, out of Destin area, which is out of salt. They're clean salt right. water. A lot I mean, cleaner. Yeah, they were a lot cleaner. And and you can do a mullet a million different ways. Really? Yes. Well, you showed us one way how to do catfish tonight. That was insane. You guys will see that video here soon on my channel. But um, yeah, we we were talking. We've been talking about your your past, and you, what, so you, thirty two years total is that right? Thirty two years, yeah. So we yeah. got some pictures here. If you can take a look, we're gonna put these up on the screen right now, dude. You were a freaking beast, man. You got uh, oh yeah, <laughs> you got some turkeys right here. So this was somebody who went over the limit on turkeys. Yes, we was working out. Me and another investigator was working on, on a management area. We heard a couple of shots. Mm-hmm. Went around there and, and seen an old man. He tried to hide from us, and we went there and caught him. And he, <laughs> he had tried to hide he, from he, me. he had scratches all over him, and he's bloody and bleeding. And uh, Jesus, what, from what, the, from the brush, like in the no, woods. No, what happened? He had shot them turkeys. Wouldn't uh, run them down. They'd clawed him and scratched him. <laughs> Dang, because he he killed three turkeys with right. two shots. Which basically just shot into a, a flock of turkeys. Oh, okay. I and so you. they were still kicking and clawing. Okay. And he went to try to grab them and bust their heads on the logs and all that. And, and they were clawing and kicking like me and you would do. I mean, if, right. if anybody else. Oh, yeah. Else. Absolutely. And, and uh, so he kind of got some justice by going over the limit because he got tore up by turkeys. And I'm assuming he got a fat ticket from you guys. Yeah, he got a fat t- ticket and he lost his hunting privileges for a year. Exactly. And so, he lost his gun and his truck. Oh, man. That's, truck. A, that's a bad day right uh, there. Truck. Oh, he lost his truck. Well, his truck looked like Badge's truck. Wasn't a big, big. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, that's oh, cool. Straight out the oh, gate. Oh, hey, right. Badge loves his little truck, even though he gets stuck in it yeah, just driving down but, the road. Yeah, yeah. If, they, if they seized his truck, what would Badge say? Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he'd yeah. be like, "Oh well, oh whatever. well, big deal. <laughs> don't don't take my wigglers. I got to fish with them." Yeah. That's right. It's so that's cool right. though seeing you in these, you know, these older pictures. I mean, you're always telling us about, you know, just. Uh, Daryl looks like a bad right. man. Right, you just look like a guy that you know could snap a you neck. You can hurt somebody. Is this? A, is this? Are these marijuana plants? Yes, they are. Really? So, yeah. what, what was the story behind that? Well, back in the early '80s, marijuana was huge. I mean, it ain't yeah. like it is now, where half the states are legal. But back then, everything was illegal, and it was. And Walton County was probably the number two county in the state of Florida as far as growing illegal really? plants. Really, Walton so, County? Wow. Yeah. So we had, we found a lot. Of illegal marijuana plants. I mean, yeah. I have found as, as many as twenty thousand plants in one wow. in one patch. Yeah. Holy moly! So Did what? You make what money? You? <laughs> 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 Didn't make a dime. <laughs> well, I was going to say, like, so in that particular situation, I mean, you're you're a game warden. So, if I understand it correctly, don't game wardens have the ability to arrest anybody for anything? Like, yes. Like, I mean, a lot of people you say the game warden, the most powerful cop in right. the world. But basically what it boils down to is we can go on anybody's property That's for right. probable cause at any time. So that that get that that time it gave us more authority because we could say we could hear a shot go on there. Exactly, could, yeah. We, you know, an endangered species. I mean it could be like a pine barren's tree fog, right? Yeah. You can go on somebody's property. So you could actually go on somebody's property for any reason whatsoever. Wow. That's insane. Yeah. So or or a deputy would have to get a warrant or something like that. Yeah. So if when you, you go on somebody's property and you find marijuana plants, like what well, happens? Basically next? you would find in the early 80s, people were stupid. 
Yeah. And you would find a trail, like a three wheeler trail. Everybody had three wheelers, didn't have four wheelers. Mm-hmm. You'd find a three wheeler trail and you would get in it and a blind man could follow it and it would dead end into a marijuana patch yeah. next to a creek <laughs> <laughs> where Jeez. they could you know, water it and they, where they were yeah. lazy. Irrigation, and then, yeah. Yeah. And then as people got, and, and people, more and more people started getting arrested and, and started getting wiser and it got harder and harder and you'd start using more and more techniques right. to catch them. But yeah. Yeah. I mean, back then in the early 80s, fairly easy to catch somebody yeah well i'm sure a lot like you said a lot of people were, were growing it so it you know it was everywhere i'm sure oh yeah because in, in walton county what well, we had people in walton holmes county uh santa rosa county north end of them counties you had people that went from moonshining mm-hmm. in the 50s and 60s to the marijuana business yep so i mean that's how they made a living uh, I, yeah you can't really blame them there there, there wasn't a, when i went to walton county in 1982 the largest employer in walton county was a chicken plant wow so basically so you got to do something to yes, make a living. You pluck I mean, chickens, yeah, <laughs> or, or or grow cut, grow weed, yeah. or grow weed. Exactly. Yeah, that was and your two options. That's yeah. really not a. I mean, that's a pretty tough choice, honestly. Yeah. I mean, yeah, exactly. geez, who wants to work in a chicken plant yeah. their whole life? Yeah, right now I'd probably grow weed. <laughs> right. Yeah. Exactly. Well, Alabama will probably be one of the last states to legalize if it ever even happens. So. Yeah, Alabama, Mississippi, probably the last two. Yeah. Yeah, but you're you're a Florida resident though, so you could probably get some. It's probably it's pretty legal down there, isn't it? I don't I think no so. idea. I have never <laughs> smoked any of my life. Well, that's that's a good yep. that's a good I answer. Say it, I won't. That's but a, I have not at this point. <laughs> that's a good answer for yeah. a retired uh, yeah. state employee yeah, at this but point. Yeah. Now I'm I'm trying to think off the top of my head because you and I and me, you and Badge have had so many conversations that revolved around crazy stories. I mean, when you're when you're when you work in any job field for thirty plus years, you're going to have stories. But I feel like game wardens specifically probably have encountered some of the most dangerous, weird, uh, you know, just law-breaking situations. So, I mean, not to put you on the spot, but what stories, like, just stick out to you that you'll just never forget? <clears throat> There's several. I mean, I mean, like I said, I worked 30-something, 32-plus years as, as a game board, and I worked – the times have changed. You yeah. know, back then, you didn't really see somebody breaking – a game law is a big violator. I mean, we'd catch people on Eglin, Eglin Air Force Base, had like 400,000 acres, had like 200,000 acres, was close to the public. Mm-hmm. People would slip in there and hunt. Some of the best hunting in Northwest Florida was in the closed areas on yeah. Eglin. And the judge would find them 50 bucks. Oh, that's it? That was it. Wow. And I'd tell the judge, I said, hey, let me pay 50 bucks. I'll go hunting there. Sure, that's some of the best yeah. hunting in the state of Florida. Yeah. In, in these. <laughs> so <clears throat> you yeah. had... A, a different attitude, you know, in the early 80s that we had now then. But then you yeah. still had, um, you know, baiting when they, when they legalized baiting in the state of Florida. Mm-hmm. And uh, the managed mayors never legalized it. And, yeah. you know, baiting was one of the things that we, we worked it. Probably didn't have to work it as hard as we did, but it was fun to work. Yeah. You know, catching somebody putting out corn and over there was a blast. Yeah. I probably <laughs> was overzealous in that. Probably. <laughs> Shouldn't have arrested many people as I did. Yeah, but there's 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 not as much fun as finding a sack of corn on the ground. Right, finding a tree stand uh-huh. during bow season. You know which direction he's facing because you see his stand, you see his corn. So mm-hmm. you know, sneak it up behind him, and him hearing your footsteps. Yeah, is is quite. And he's thinking you're a deer. That's right. He's waiting for you. And you see him kind of ease his bow back, <laughs> and he's getting ready to shoot. And he turns around real slow and he sees a game warden. Oh, man. And see him try to blend into the side of that tree. <laughs> Just in his pants. Oh, yes. Like, oh, my God. I hope he don't see me. And, uh, but you know he's in there because you've already. I mean, yeah, we've already found it. Yeah. You know? and, and he don't know that. And then the excuses they I, give. I was just about to say, what, what are the excuses they would give? I mean, oh, yeah. I mean, they didn't I know the, the corn I was, dropped the bag on the ground. And they I didn't, didn't want know to pick the it up. corn was there or, you know, their, their yeah. mother-in-law told them it was okay to hunt here. Or, yeah. you know, they oh, had seen God. somebody else hunting there and they had already called us and told us about it. I mean, it, yeah, a million different stories. But I bet. Um, what about like, so I, I've heard this story before. It's funny because we were actually talking about Flair a little bit earlier off camera, but one of the problems he's had before, and I don't think he was actually breaking any laws, but he's had some game wardens really get on his case about this, or you know, kind of tick ticky tack stuff. I think they just have a problem with him. But I've heard that they can bring in if you're if you're like, for example, baiting a pond or something like that for ducks. ducks right. Yeah. They can bring like scuba divers in. 
and look for corn. Is that true? That's true. Wow. Oh my gosh. To see if you're baiting your like you know yes. pond or swamp for. Well, duck hunting. There, there's there's a couple of different ways to duck hunt. Mm-hmm. There, there's there's actually three ways to duck hunt. that's really really good. Mm-hmm. None of them are legal. Nice. The best way <laughs> is to put out corn. The second best way is put out molasses because the duck like to, I, I don't know if they lick themselves, I don't know if they got tongues or whatever, but they yeah. love to get the molasses lick themselves off. Really? Yeah, and, and wow. the third way is to put out any kind of feed for them. And then the last way is to shoot them illegal. So most yeah. people that shoot ducks, shoot them. If you hear of a good duck shoot, they either shoot them late in the afternoon, which you can't do, mm-hmm. or they shoot them over bait. So yeah. most time when they're shooting ducks, they're shooting them illegal. Wow. So, yeah, when we, we used to find – get a complaint we'd go in there actually with a we'd go in there on like on on salt on the salt water with a uh like a net yeah. made out of wire uh, with, with quarter inch mesh and, and mm. drag it through the ah, sand like dredge it yeah. yes and then pull up there if there was cracked corn or i'm not cracked corn but whole corn in there then mm. it was in trouble and you already know yeah, yeah. Wow. that's crazy that but if insane. somebody uh-huh. was if somebody had a good duck hunt they were probably illegal well me and bads can testify to that because we started well i don't know you may have duck hunted before i don't was this your first time duck hunting with me this year <laughs> i'd i'd I've been to other places. Your cough is oh, hilarious. Dude, right I'm now. such a pain. Every time man. you try to talk, you're like on yeah, the verge of coughing. I'm like, about hey, to before say something. y'all go any farther, they have a Jeez. wildlife alert program where I can call in and turn in a poacher and make money. Oh, so yeah? Do, am oh, I fixed man. to make a dollar off of this? No, this, oh. this is what I was no, about to say no. was me and him were doing it the legal way. Like, we were <laughs> just trying to do everything the right way. Right. And we, I never shot a duck this season. You know, I got a nice gun. I started to read up on it. He was kind of getting me into it. And we went out there, what, four or five, six times early in the morning. And we would wait. We'd wait for the sun to come up because that was, you know, we we're trying to follow the law. Plus, we're recording it, so we have to wait for the sun right, to come up because we need right. the light to film it anyways. And we only saw a couple ducks, and we never ha- even got a shot off at a live duck. Do so. you talk about shooting one illegally on the podcast or no? Like that we've done? Off camera. I mean, I wouldn't, but... I'm not going to. Want. I was just wondering. I've never shot a duck, so I don't have any legal stories because I've never... I've never <laughs> even, this, this last January was my first time ever duck hunting on the right. swamp back here. And, you know, we, we were doing all the right things, and we still didn't shoot a duck. So I get, I get that that's probably, well, like duck, you said... Duck hunting is different than deer hunting and, and hog hunting and other stuff because ducks, you can legally shoot them 30 minutes before daylight. Right. So that means pretty yeah. much when it gets light enough to see, you can shoot them. That's right, yeah. But you've got to quit shooting at sunset. Right. Which means that's 30 minutes before it gets dark. Right. And yeah. a lot of people shoot these duck roosts where they come in there and spend the night before they, yeah. they shoot them after legal shooting hours. Right. So, so mm-hmm. uh, most people that have a good duck shoot, yeah. it's illegal duck shoot. I mean, that's wow. just the bottom line. If you're going to have a good duck shoot, it's probably illegal. Yeah. Now, me and Badge have talked about this, too. Now, shooting ducks while they're on the water, that's not illegal, but it's frowned upon. Is that, is that right? Like shooting them on the water? Yeah. In, in Alabama and Florida, you know, some states, yeah. all states are different. Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of like shooting quail on the ground. Yeah, it's, there's no sport in it. Dove on a power yeah. line. You know, I had a fellow tell me, you know, how do you shoot a dove on a power line? So we ain't to lead him as much, you know? <laughs> so, <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. So, we, it's, 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 but it's, it's, a, it's a sportsman kind of thing, you know. I think we actually know somebody who did. Who, didn't somebody do that? Do what? Shoot, shoot a duck like on video on the oh, water. Frick. You can say it. We'll bleep it. Hey, I've shot ducks on the water. <laughs> <laughs> well, like you said, it's not illegal. It's, it's just not illegal. Upon. And I got a dog so. I was trying to work, so I have shot. There you go. Yeah, so. yeah. Like I said, that was, that, that makes it a little bit better. You're trying yeah, to train I'm, a dog. I'm, so. I'm trying yeah. to train a dog. But by the yeah. way, speaking of that, so who who is the owner of Alley? That's your son's dog. Yes, that's okay. my son. That's well, it all dog. depends who you ask. It's right. actually my son's dog or his fiance. Uh, it all depends who you ask. It's one of those situations. Yes, exactly. So. Well, you guys need to pay attention because come hunting season or maybe duck season. I don't know or quail season, which is coming up. Dove too. season. Dove. Excuse me. Dove, Dove. That's what I meant to say. Right. D- Daryl. Well, it's not your dog, but you have the dog a lot, and I will work it. And right. that dog is. Incredible, the most insane yeah. retrieving dog. We're gonna, I think we're gonna try to do a video on it. Yes, if you're I, up for I it, hope because we do, yes. you pe- will not. people wouldn't even believe how wide open this dog was. I didn't no. believe it until you showed me. Smart. That man. dog was I've, born to retrieve. Yes, That's well, what that dog I've, was born to. I've do. had Labrador retrievers since the early 1980s, and this is this dog is like, I don't know, eighth, ninth, tenth generation of the dogs that mm. me and a friend of mine has raised. 
And, and I, I actually paid $6,500 for a high-priced dog three years ago. Wow. And this dog is 100 times better than my $6,500 dog. I was just going to say, how, what's, what's the most expensive retrieving dog you've ever seen out, out there? Advertised or you know people whatever people are asking. What's the most expensive dog you ever seen? Ten grand or better. I have seen them go for eighteen thousand. Wow, um, eighteen for one dog. For one dog, and that's Jesus. that's a kennel out of Mississippi. I won't name I won't name the, the, the guy's yeah. name, but my dog was actually out of that kennel out of Mississippi. Sheesh. Uh, and they're uh, holy moly, yeah, eighteen thousand for a fully trained dog. When he, I mean, uh, when he gets ready to release it, it's, it's eighteen thousand. He only holy does. Moly. There's a three year waiting list if you want an eighteen thousand dollar dog. Incredible. Yeah. I had no idea that the dove hunting and just like a retrieved dog was well, not that doves. valuable. Most of these are pheasants, ducks, okay, duck like dogs. Or whatever. Yeah, dove is. But still. Matter of fact, the guy when I bought my dog and I told him I was doing dove, he was pissed off I was using my dog for dove. Really? He, I was wasting time. He said, oh, he said this dog is a pheasant, goose, yeah. duck dog. You don't put it on yeah. dove. I mean, but that's what I bought. That's what yeah, I like you, You're spending the money, so hell, yeah, exactly. he, he can yeah. get over himself. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. How much do you think Allie's worth? If you were to if you were to show her skills to a nut to people who are in the market, how much do you think she could she could bring in? I could I could sell her this hunting season no problem for ten grand. Sheesh. I believe that. It, if I went to a, they have these charity hunts where you pay and all. If I went to the right hunt where you had some you know some doctors and lawyers mm -hmm. attorneys with big money and all, I could sell I could I could sell for ten thousand dollars by two o'clock in the afternoon. I I bet you I bet you. So I I want to do a video on this dog at some point, whether it's dove or duck or whatever. And I bet you once we do that video and it gets out there, I bet you people will be hitting me up trying to find that dog to buy that dog. Yeah, well, they ain't going to sell that dog. I, <laughs> no, I, I, I promise know, you that. I, I, I keep that dog, I don't know, about every other month. I get to keep yeah. it. It's kind of like my grandkid. I don't have any grandkids, so I keep right. it. And I, and I practice with it. I work it and all that. And my son's girlfriend had called me after a while. She said, I'm coming tomorrow to get my dog back. <laughs> she misses that dog. Yeah, she misses that's the crazy. dog. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, it's, a, it's an amazing dog, it, man. Yeah, it, we, that dog is wide open. I mean, it'll retreat anything you throw. It, yeah. It's wide open. And it'll just bring stuff to you randomly. Yeah. Bring you, any, you, any object to If you. we were sitting here right now, that dog would be up here and put something <laughs> on, right here on the counter. A penny. I don't care. A piece of glass. It yeah. don't matter. I've seen that dog in action. It's it's pretty wild. I it's mean, amazing. It's, but the puppies, they're, they're act, we're probably going to breed it next year, probably next March or April. The puppies be worth you know, $2,500 a piece for, for a eight-week-old yeah. puppy. So. Wow. That's with no training. That's just no because training. of the bloodline. I would pay that. Yeah. yeah. I, like I said, I've had labs for 40 years. And I would gladly pay that for a puppy from that dog. Yeah, I've, now that I've seen it, yeah, I mean, I, I totally understand. That's why I was asking how much it could be worth. Cause, I mean, that, that yeah, just, that dog is a 10,000-plus dog. Yeah, yeah. That, dogs Sheesh. like that don't grow on trees. No. I mean, yeah. that's – it's just – it, it's almost like you take all the training and the bloodline, and then there's just that it factor in a dog like that that yes. you just can't put in a dog. And, and the, the – uh, what we have bred that dog, like I said, I had – this is like, I don't know how many generations, but I had the original lab, but then a buddy of mine, he started breeding them, and his daughters bred them, both his daughters. And he has probably sold, I don't know, four, five, six hundred 600 dogs in the last 40 years. Wow. And mm -hmm. if you talk to him, he'll tell you he has not sold any dogs that's anywhere near this dog. I out of the four, it. five, 600 dogs. I mean, not even close. Not what do you close. think it is? It's just, that's just, that dog was just born to do it? Simple as that. It's crazy. Yeah, it's just crazy. This dog's not a pet, yeah. or it would be a pet, because it, it is nothing but born to retrieve. Yeah, it's yeah. no fun to be around if you're not going to throw something right. to retrieve. That dog doesn't want to sit in your lap. It doesn't no, want to eat don't scraps be off the table. No, it doesn't want to be petted. It doesn't want to be petted. Nope, and it'll do nothing but put something it, in your lap for you to throw it. Stand there and stare at you yes. and wait till you throw it. And when you throw something, it takes a straight line to go get it and that's where these field trials and i thought about doing field trials but i'm kind of too old to do that yeah but when you throw something it takes a straight line to it and yeah. it's, i don't care if you throw it over a boat it'll jump over a boat it'll yeah. jump over a tree it'll climb a tree to go yeah. through but it takes a straight line to it and a straight line back so you take her to my pond whenever you have her to exercise her because you have to right you I have, have to, to exercise her she's got too much energy or she'll tear the house up yeah yep, yep. she's just dying to retrieve i've seen daryl just Throw I mean, anything, a water bottle, a stick out into the pond over and over. I'm sure you do it a hundred times. Oh, and yes, she wouldn't yes. be tired. No, I You'd do be it. tired before she Normally I have her, I do it in the mornings, in mm -hmm. the middle of the day, and then at night I go out there and throw somewhere between 50 and 60 retrieves in the yard wow. before I let her sleep at night. Jeez. And when she sleeps at night, she sleeps with me because yeah. if something happened to that dog, 
I'd have to leave the country. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have some people looking. Ah, uh, yeah. I'd hope, they'd have, hope they'd have open borders in Cuba or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to a, leave. Yeah, that's an insane dog, man. It's, uh, it's almost yeah, unbelievable. Insane, We're gonna yes. do a video on it though. Maybe this, uh, maybe I dog so. season that, or whatever. That'd be good. Yeah. I have seen her. I told you earlier. Last year we went on a dove hunt, not far from here, and then a friend of mine invited me. And I was sitting there in the bottom of the hill. There wasn't a whole lot of birds. I'm shooting a bird here and there. It wasn't a very good shoot. Mm -hmm. And Allie, you got to keep a leash on because when she sees another dog, I mean another bird, that's hers. Yeah. So you got to keep a leash on her, and she's pretty well trained if you let her go on the leash. So she, I got the leash off her because the, the shooting kind of died down. All of a sudden she takes off. She runs across the top of the hill towards the highway. Mm -hmm. Now I'm about to freak out because if she gets run right yeah. highway, I'll, I'll oh, just yeah. have to leave town. Right. <laughs> and I said, all of a sudden I see her running across to the right towards a buddy of mine. I said, what in the world is she doing? She runs about another 100 yards wide open. I mean, this dog flies like a greyhound. And then I seen her running back towards me. And I said, this dog is done went slam crazy. And I see a dove about four feet off the ground, just barely can fly in. It's about half chasing it. She's chasing it. She's right on his heels. Just before that dove hits the wood, she jumps up in the air like a Frisbee, catches it, brings it back to me. Now, we, had that dove been shot or was it just trying to get yes, away? Yes, it had been wounded. Okay. It, it was been, wounded, it was but wounded. it was still flying, though. <laughs> exactly. So when we get through, I, I, we go up there and everybody gathers around. We're trying to give you doves away because nobody wants to clean them. We're talking to everybody. They say, uh, they said uh, there was a there was a uh, a wife and a, and a guy and their kid. They said, "Man, we seen your dog." He said, "Man, that thing was insane." Yeah. They said, "How do we train a dog to do that?" Yeah. I said, "I don't know." You I'm, can't. Yeah. I said, "I'm screaming at the dog to stop." <laughs> I said, "I'm trying to <laughs> not she make can't her go." Stop. She's got the retrieve. She's man. got retrieve. It's yeah, an amazing that, dog, man. She's sure. amazing. We're going to show you guys exactly what we're talking about. If you don't believe us, or if you're just wanting to see. Don't worry, we're, we're going to show you. All right, folks, before we get any further in today's podcast, you're going to want to stay tuned because we got some really crazy game warden stories coming from Daryl. But we want to do a quick word about Carl's bait and tackle. As you guys know, I've been working with the team at Carl's since, well, actually, I've been working with them since before 2018, but that's when they launched their website to the public, and that's when it became live. But they have an impressive and always growing assortment of everything you're going to need. I mean, the best prices, the best stuff all the time. The team over at Carl's are always coming up with just new stuff in general, new content to teach you how to use the lures that you just purchased at an extremely low price. And if you're a member of Carl's Club, you get pretty much 30% off almost everything on the store. I mean, it's crazy. I think Guggen Baits is the cheapest place to get Guggen Baits on the internet. Plus you get free shipping, you get early access to new products, all other kinds of perks. They also recently just introduced Carl's Bait Insurance, which is the first insurance of its kind. I mean, there's nothing like this out there. Any hard bait you buy up to $20 is covered for 90 days. That means if you break off on a fish, you get hung up in a tree, you cast the dang thing off, whatever you do, you can get that lure replaced. And I think you can do up to four claims per year. Carl's is where I get a ton of my gear. You guys should know that I do a video on them every single month. I'd highly recommend you guys check them out. Go to shopcarls.com and you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Speaking of dogs, Daryl, how many fist fights you been in? <laughs> uh, yeah, while well, while and, on duty or just in general? Yeah, exactly. On duty, in on law duty. enforcement or on duty? <laughs> I don't. I don't want to hear about your late nights in the bar. I want to hear about game morning Daryl wearing the badge. That's wearing what we want to hear. Right there, wearing protected. the badge, beard and the badge, baby. Let's oh. go. Well, the first thing we have to discuss before we talk about fist fights is how police officers done back in the seventies and eighties, and how they done now. Oh you know, dear. Oh back, God. When, when, when you're working by yourself in the woods in the middle of the night and you're, and you're stopping somebody shining a light, killing deer at night. Yeah, they, they've got a gun. They've got a uh, gun. And they've got a gun, uh, at least one gun. Most yeah. of them got one or two guns and a pistol on the side and, uh, you know, a daddy that's a politician. Oh, and, mm, and, they're, and they're half drunk and you stop them at night and – you're gonna, you're gonna put, yeah, and you're gonna put them in, and you're gonna put them in jail. You know, uh, they got to know you mean business. Oh, right. So you got to establish yourself early in in the county you work in that you meant business. Once you establish yourself, then you, you you'll never be in another fist fight. Now, by establish yourself, you mean you kind of need like a reputation, like they know who you are. And they know that if, if they get cute with you, you could you could make them pay. Basically, I mean, yeah, I mean, without it, being so specific. If somebody has to pick up Cousin Joe at the hospital the next morning, uh -huh. 
then they don't screw with the game board <laughs> right. the next weekend. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, that's what it boils down to. But, I mean, things have changed. I mean, I don't want to elaborate on that because yeah, yeah, I mean, sure. there's a lot of stuff that can go wrong. Absolutely. Right, but, right. But the bottom line is, back then you had to establish – I mean, we worked in the middle of nowhere by ourselves. Yeah. I mean, we, I'd work uh, – we had, our dispatch was out of, out of Panama City, but we'd work dispatch, and I'd be the only game warden working in 16 counties. Jeez. At one o'clock in the morning, wow. so and the sheriff's department. When I wouldn't work for the sheriff's department in Walton County, they had seven deputies, and Walton yeah. County was the sixth largest county in the state of Florida. Big county, yeah. and they had seven deputies. So it ain't like you could count on them for backup, right? And so you pretty much had to establish yourself with the locals that knew that that when you told them something, they yeah. did it. Right. I mean, that, that was the bottom line. I mean, I, I wasn't trying to be Mister. Billy Badass or anything yeah. like that. I mean, it's just you had to establish yourself or, or you might as well just leave. No, I totally get it. And it's actually even unique from a police officer. I mean, a police officer, 99% of the time when you're interacting with somebody, they're not going to have a gun, right? Like 99% of the yeah, time. Yeah, that's probably right, yeah. You know, maybe, I mean, 95% of the time yeah, in the yeah. South because a lot of people carry. Yeah. But I'm just saying, game warden, like you said, these people have guns because they're hunters or they're – you know, maybe some fishermen too, but yeah. even a lot of fishermen carry guns. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean? Most of the people we checked had guns. Right. I mean, even fishermen. I, I, and that brings to us a point. We, we, I was working on the river one day and I'm pulling up there. I mean, I'm trying to mind my own boat business. And there's a little old tiny boat, probably a 12 foot boat. And there's two guys fishing. And one guy's got a cane pole, he's got a fish hooked up. I'm easing up to him to check their fishing license. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, I see him grab his cane, pull his left hand, and he pulls a revolver in his right hand. And Jesus. He goes, he goes to pull it out. Well, I'm thinking, what do I do? Do I shoot him or what? <laughs> and he goes to, all of a sudden, he goes to shoot and pow, 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 pow in the water. Oh, my God. And he's got a damn mud fish on the end of his pole that he's oh. shooting at. And he don't think nothing because back then, the game wardens didn't think nothing about that. Right. It's like. We well, didn't shoot the damn mudfish. So he, yeah. I mean, he didn't think nothing about me coming up there and him doing that. Wow. That's but at crazy. the time, you, you know, I was fairly new at the, on one job at the time. Yeah. So I'm thinking, oh, sh I mean, what do I do? Yeah, I mean, no kidding. I mean, in this day and age, you could have shot him and legally got away from him. Absolutely. But yeah. you know, back then, it'd be like, oh, damn, old Lero was just trying to kill the mudfish. What did you shoot him for? <laughs> you know? So, Jeez. I mean, times have changed, but, you know, you still had to have, you had to establish yourself back in the eighties or yeah. the late the late seventies early eighties. You had to establish yourself as basically don't screw with me. Yeah. Well, I don't know if that if that counts, but I was going to ask you if you ever had a gun pulled on you, like actually pulled on you. No, I, I mean thank God. For thank that. God. Yeah. In thirty two years, I never had a gun actually pulled. I had a couple times where I, it probably could have happened. Yeah. And I, and I think I stopped it ahead of time. Yeah. Um, but no, I never had one pulled. Now I've had, you know, a couple of officers that I worked with was actually shot and killed in the line of duty. Wow! I know but, I've heard you say that before. That is just yeah. wild. But I've yeah. never had one personally pulled. You wouldn't. You wouldn't think that when you hear a game warden. Yeah. You know, you would. You would think. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, but, it's just. Well, no, I mean, it, it is. It's just. I don't think you hear about that nowadays either. Like I don't think that happens as often. Maybe. Probably not because well. Well, you don't have a game warden nowadays like yeah. you had back then. You got people that check people fishing and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the hunting is really – now, some of these states like Alabama, maybe Mississippi, North Louisiana or something, but Florida don't have game wardens anymore. There's not, an, there's not a game warden in the state of Florida now mm -hmm. that could do what I did in 1980. There's, right. not, there's not the first one, yeah. not, not one. I mean, I'm not bragging or whatever. I'm yeah. just saying there's none that are capable of doing because they don't know what it took to right. do in 1980 what we've done now. And I and I couldn't do in, in this day and age, I, I couldn't hire on and do what, what these boys are doing nowadays. I, oh, I, don't, gosh. I, don't, have, I don't have a temperament. No, we've it. talked about that. Me and Badge talk yeah. about it all the time. I mean, I being be in, in jail. Yeah, being in law enforcement now, I mean, that's just a crapshoot. I mean, everybody, yeah. you got a target on your back from basically everybody. Yeah, and, so. and everybody's got a recorder now, everything that's you right. say. Yeah, I mean, I mean yep. yeah, back then I could tell somebody something. Yeah. You know, if I stopped you in the woods and I told you something, it stayed between me and you. Right, yeah. Well, now it's between me and you and 400,000 subscribers. That's right. So, yeah, I mean, exactly. So, yeah, things have changed. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, we got three cameras on us, all this lighting equipment. Yeah, it's nothing is safe these days for sure. No. And so, you know, much of the times have changed. I, both my boys, I advised against them going into law enforcement. Yeah. You know, back in them days. Yeah. Because the job, when I hired on it, it was the best job in the world. Right. Yeah. I had a blast. 
Well, I told you, you know, I used to want to, I, I used to want to be a game warden, like right. maybe one day down the road when I was done with, you know, a lot of like my professional career. Now I'm a freaking YouTuber, so I don't even know what the hell is going on here. But eventually it just seemed like it might be cool because I like to be outdoors, I like fishing. I'm starting to get into hunting, but, but now, you know, with, with things that have happened the last decade with law enforcement, it's like, that's, that's just yeah, a Yeah, not even shit. the last decade, in the last four or five yeah, years. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't want to be in law enforcement. Yeah. And. Yeah, I really feel sorry for law enforcement because to do your job in certain areas, you know, you have to have to have, have a certain, you know, I don't know what you call it, but um, a presence mm -hmm. about you, and you just can't do it. And and I and I've never worked in a big city, so I I couldn't answer how you would work in a big city. Yeah, I can tell you how you how you work in a rural county mm -hmm. in 1980 that you had to work in an area where they knew if 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 you if I stopped them, mm -hmm. what I told them. They knew, yes, sir, no, sir, right, yeah. and I'll do whatever you tell me to do, sir, in 1980. <laughs> yeah. And I knew that with, for a fact. With six foot four, 200 pound <laughs> Daryl Johnson, man. Don't, for, don't mess around with this yeah, guy. Yeah, and I wasn't trying to be, like I said, I wasn't trying to be a bully. I'm just trying yeah. to protect myself That's and right. them. I yeah. didn't want to have to hurt them either. I mean, yeah. I, you know, I, I have arrested a many, 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 many people, and, and me and the judges were good friends. And I've arrested a lot of people. There was young kids, and I'd call the judge and say, "Hey, you know, give them a break because yeah. mom or dad's going to pay the fine. You know, give them a break and yeah. and let's you know make them uh, do community service. You know, pick up garbage or whatever. Yeah, right. But, uh, let's not you know make yeah. mom and dad have to pay the fine. Yeah, for sure. Now these situations where you almost got guns pulled on you, but maybe you you stopped it. You want to elaborate on that, or do you want to do you want to talk about any of that stuff? <clears throat> I'll tell you about a, a couple of times that we had that was. Um, the guys that we had were, were pretty bad. I actually arrested one guy, or actually two of them. There were a couple of them down there in, in uh, South Walton County. They were night hunting. And one in the front was shining the light, and one mm -hmm. in the back had a gun, which was pretty – back then they would do that. They figured they could get away with it. Well, I stopped both of them, and I went to court. You know, one of them claimed, well, I wasn't doing anything. I didn't have a gun in my truck. And the one in the back said, oh, I wasn't doing anything. I didn't have a light in my truck. And the judge found them guilty. Yeah. Uh, you know, about – Five or six months later, the guy that was in the front of that truck got arrested mm -hmm. for like a double homicide. He might be like he like Ooh. murdered his girlfriend and mm -hmm. murdered her boyfriend and all that. Jeez, I mean, so these were these were just weren't your regular everyday yeah. offenders. Yeah. And an, another time, me and a buddy of mine, which y'all know the guy you bought your property from, were hunting up yep. there, and uh, on a lease we had. And we hear a shot. I'm in a tree, and I hear a shot. So I get out of, my, out, out of my truck. I know the guy wasn't supposed to be there. Go there. There's a guy on the highway had killed an illegal deer, which was a doe back then. It was pretty serious on, on the highway. So I get in my personal truck and block him from pulling off and arrest him. Yeah. And tell him to go to the jail. I'm going to arrest him for killing a doe deer during – he wasn't allowed to kill a doe deer. And uh, he didn't have any, any gas. I had to give him $2 <laughs> to fill up gas <laughs> in his pickup truck. Yeah. And told him to drive himself to jail, turn himself in, and I'd be there. So I had to yeah. drive to the house, change clothes, put my uniform on, meet up at jail. Oh, man. And I guess he was embarrassed, and I don't blame him. Yeah. And he wound up burning the, the lady's barn down on the property that I, that I stopped him on. What? Good Why? gracious. Yeah, he come back when he got out of jail that he night. He got mad or what? Yeah, he got mad and was going to show him who's boss and burn her barn down. Oh, and, man. And that. yeah. Come on. Yeah, that's so, not cool. No. Yeah. Nah, so, I mean, you know, that's the kind of people back then – that we dealt with. I mean, there some of them was really bad, and some of them were just, just old country boys. Yeah. You know? Speaking of barn burning, did you see that the barn burning they were doing down here, down no. the road the other day? Uh -huh. the, there's like an old barn right down yeah. the road. Me and Bad saw. We thought somebody's house was on fire. We pulled out. Of the, was that this morning? That yeah, was this morning. We pulled out, and to the left there was this huge plume of black smoke over there by um, those folks that live right, right down there on the left. Hmm. Or take a left out of my place. The first houses that you see on the right. Yeah, I missed that. Yeah, yeah. There, I guess there. Were, there was a bunch of guys with like tractors and stuff. Adrian rode by too, but um, yeah, there was this barn, this old house on fire. <laughs> I guess they were burning it down. I don't really know. Well, what sometimes the, hell was going the fire on department will burn that down for practice. That's well, that's kind of what I thought, but we didn't see any fire department right. people. It was all just a bunch of you know, uh, just a bunch of dudes sitting around with, with tractors and stuff. Yeah. I, I don't know if they lit it or if it just caught on fire and they were just. And I know sometimes fight. badge burns stuff like that. Yeah. Well, you know, too, yeah, you know? <laughs> right. No, we just sink. Where boats. was he at? That's what we do. We just sink boats. <laughs> when we're, yeah. yeah, that's what we sink do. Sink boats fun. and steal footage, baby. Yeah, that's right. Speaking of that, that was. <laughs> Badge had to borrow your trailer, right, to, to load up this 
<laughs> no, I, boat. Did you watch the video? The, 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 the hell that he put your trailer through? Uh, I don't know if I want to even comment on that. You don't? He, I, I come over here being a nice neighbor. I don't know ba- badge that well. Only I know his badge can't catch a god fish. That's the only one. And, and I do a favor for Lo Joe. I'm going to loan him my trailer because badge needs it. That's right. Right. And then I see that video, <laughs> and it's amazing that my trader is still around. I, it is. I don't know. I, it's I, actually in pretty decent shape. It doesn't even look that bad. There's a lot of finger pointing. I do want to. I do want to <laughs> say. <laughs> yeah, but, Mojo did dip that son of a gun. <laughs> I, I did. I didn't realize how far yeah. I got it in. But at least we had the wherewithal yeah. to unplug the submersible damn light. <laughs> was something we had discussed. We did. Yeah. When y'all did. unloaded the boat, we and then did. when I seen the video, because yeah. we didn't know they weren't submersible, and you said I will not take the trailer lights underwater. <laughs> if y'all want to watch that video, <laughs> and let me know if you think the trailer yeah. lights went underwater, uh, they may just have. Hit, a, hit, a, hit the like button. I, I want to get 10,000 likes on whether the, the trailer lights went underwater or not. Yeah, yeah. Yes. That, was, that was an oversight, I will admit. But the yeah. first thing we did after we, we unplugged them, we unplugged the trailer because we knew, if, okay, if it didn't have power to it, it should be good. Yeah, and then as yeah. soon as it In came theory, out. And, and you're a mechanic or <laughs> yeah, what are you, know, electrician? Right. Yeah, yeah. Not, not at all. Very minimal experience in those yeah. avenues. But That's later right. on that evening... We were following you, and that was the first thing we looked for. Are, are his trailer lights working? Because if they weren't, we were going to replace them. And you drove right. off the road a couple of times, Daryl. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, you, you were. Yeah, yeah. I saw you remember you that, a that little night? Bit. Well, I was emailing. <laughs> you dirty dog. Don't say that on, on camera. Oh. They're gonna, the cops around here are going to be looking for uh, you. Well, I'll do I'll that, They probably yelling. know you. We need Is you around. emailing legal in Louisiana? I don't know. We we'll have to check. Have to look. Well, that whatever up. state is legal in is the state I was in there when I was emailing. That's right. right. There you go. But we, I did run off. I did. Right. Way. I did. did. <laughs> I rode off the road just to see if my trailer <laughs> lights <laughs> was working. <laughs> right. Yeah. They were well, we were really good. concerned because we were I following. I was actually in. watching the damn video of y'all <laughs> fucked up my trailer. <laughs> <laughs> That's and what every, it was. And every time you see me run off road is when I said, "You son of a." <laughs> <bitch."> <laughs> That's so you can count yeah. many times I run off the road is when you screwed up my did, trailer. Did you at least like leave a like on that video though? Did you like it or did you dislike it? I don't remember. Uh, I'll, I'll have to look back. <laughs> I mean, I, we, I, I, I like the video, but we, I dislike my trailer. Right. I mean, right. It's, yeah. I mean, it's, I felt bad we, during, we when, put, when it was happening. Yeah, I, was, I bet you did this, feel bad. This, this isn't even this isn't even mentioning the time me and you. Well, I I borrowed your trailer one time. None of this was even oh, on yeah, camera. On, on the chicken and I, house, with, and I put yeah. a dang chicken coop, a giant chicken coop on on blocks, and me and Daryl had to get this thing off the trailer. I mean, it was a gosh darn mess. It took oh, a yeah. couple hours, and hey, we got it off in one piece, so I don't know how. Yeah, engineer nightmare. Yeah, I will, I will say was. this. I, I, I checked the air in the tires. Matter of fact, I swung by my, uh, my local. I live two hours away. Yeah. And I swung by the guy that changes my oil and stuff for me. I said, hey, man, will you throw some air in these tires? Because it looked a little low. Mm-hmm. Had a heavy load. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was working that trailer. And, and this guy is what? Your local drug dealer or what? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's it, just clean. like, hey, I got a bag of weed if you put some air in the tire. <laughs> No. Uh, Badge uh, lives a clean uh, life. Okay, okay. Well, I didn't know. I mean, I'm, I'm just, I didn't know. I'm not. As one of them fellas you scared up from Florida because you busted oh. all of them. Yeah. I got They you. come camp yeah. out in West Point on the river on the boat ramps. That's where they grow That's up. a safe place for people running from the law. Let me yes. tell you. There's some shady yeah. characters. Speaking up, up of Badge's people way. at the boat ramps now. Do you Me, have a good boat ramp story? Oh, we love a boat ramp. Because we love boat ramps. It's stories. almost a boat ramp story. Me and a buddy of mine who's a Samoan. And I know you being an army, you know Samoans. Yeah. And these guys, you do not screw with. No. I mean, you don't even, you don't even make jokes with them. They're big, strong, and they're very willing to fight. Yes. At and any they, they'll whip your ass over right. nothing. I mean, yeah. these guys here, I mean, I, he's a friend of mine. I don't care what he said. He can say, Daryl, you're a piece of shit, and he's by, still my best friend. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> we were going hunting, and we stopped there on the river there in front of this gate. There's a guy, on, there's a bicycle there. It's cold as hell there. I mean, it's frost on the ground, it's ice. And there's a guy sleeping in front of the gate going to our hunting club. Actually, it was a, a piece of property that we patrolled. And uh, so I turned Willie, I can say it's his first name. We don't know who he is. I turned Willie loose on him. I said, Willie, go get that son of a bitch. So he gets out, and he has a dis- discussion with him. And this guy probably left the state. I mean, this guy's probably in Canada right now after Willie got through talking to him. <laughs> and we get down there, but I'm thinking, oh, my God. I mean, this in the middle of nowhere yeah. a guy sleeping out there 
by a boat ramp, and it's cold, yeah. on a bicycle. And freaking, I mean, when he got up, his clothes was crackling. Oh, That's how my cold God. It was. God. How is he still alive? I don't know. Jesus. I don't know. I mean, but. He might have been on some damn drugs. I oh, yeah. He, I, he had to be on something. He had to be. Yeah. No. Jesus. For sure. Yeah, uh, the last have, has la- last podcast has, has come out right. The boat yeah, ramp yeah, thing. Yeah, it's out. You should That's go back cool. and listen to our podcast about boat ramp stories, Daryl. We got some hell just just between the two of us. We got some hell of a boat ramp. Oh, stories. I got some good boat ramp. I have uh-huh. actually been responsible for boat ramp I, stories. I bet. Yeah. Yeah. I bet. I've actually you sunk any state. trucks? No, but I know a buddy of mine has sunk some trucks. Yeah. Jeez. And I have sunk a boat. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, I have backed my state boat up. Forgot to put the plug in. Oh my goodness. Pull around there, shoot the. With the locals, you know, yeah. they're all sitting there drinking their Bud Lights and all and having a fun time. And I go out there and I look at my boat and I'm sitting on the bottom of the boat ramp. <laughs> <laughs> and they're all laughing. And I'm thinking, hey, bud, how about help some, get some help? Yeah, and, how about somebody help yeah. me? And, and it's like, hey, uh, you're on your own there. <laughs> how, was, how bad did uh, it sink? I mean, did it actually go no, down? No, luckily, it, the motor was down. So when it sunk, it was like, I mean, it I, I, I back the trailer up, loaded up, and was able to unload it. And okay. It's still cranked and all. I mean, okay. So, I mean, it, I was still able to get it back on the boat, but it it ruined everything in the boat. Damn. Dang. But you didn't quite. It wasn't as bad as, it wasn't I, as, bad as I, his. I was going <laughs> to. No. I was going to say, you didn't quite sink a boat like me and Badge. Yeah. No. Because no. that, that was an actual sink job. It's that's actually still. Job. It's still sitting yeah. there right now. We're, we're in the middle oh, of that's, trying that's to figure it out. Absolutely horrible. I, I'm kind of embarrassed for Newville when they see that. Yes. I mean, I got company that comes up. I don't even care them down to your pond you, right now. You had no idea when I moved in the kind of trouble. <laughs> no. I, <laughs> I was bringing I, it with me. I, I no. Mean, I, you had I, no idea. I thought at the time. It sunk hard, man. Yeah. yeah I mean, they're little, sunking easy and they're sinking hard and we you, sunk hard. When, when did you guys find out that I was a like a, a YouTuber when I moved in? How soon after I moved in? Was it when the Tannerite blew all your... <laughs> off your wall. Oh, that's another another story. No, <laughs> actually, my son's fiance discovered you. Okay, and she told me about you. Mm-hmm. And what she told me wasn't real impressive. And I said, "Well, I said, you know, <laughs> uh, well, shit, he's, you know, I didn't know what a YouTuber was. Right? Yeah. And, you know, I mean, it's, hell, I just done my first email two years ago. Right. And so I didn't know the YouTube. And she told me about you, and I said, "Well, well, great." I said, "How does he make a living?" She said, "I said he's a YouTuber." She did. And I said, yeah. "Well, great, but what does he do for a living?" Right. She said, "He's a YouTuber." I said, "I know, but what does he do for a regular job?" Yeah. She said, "He's a YouTuber." I said, "I know, but what? <laughs> when he gets up in the morning, at eight o'clock, right. where does he where, go to work? Where does he clock in?" And at? she said, "He's a YouTuber." And I said, "All right." Then I give up. And then you realize that we somehow make somehow make money sinking boats, blowing up Tannerite, and doing a freaking podcast that's it's right a, it's a crazy world we live in daryl that's all i can tell it you it is and things and, have changed i mean i i come around before cell phone yeah. and emails and all that right and now you got people making a living off of youtube well even me i mean you got to realize I, I came out of the army at like 25 you know and then i went to college because that's the only thing i could do to stay out of trouble i had the gi bill you know so went to college got the fastest degree i could get so three years uh, you know, physical therapy license and everything. That's Good. not the fastest degree. My son well, went yeah. for physical therapy, so I mean, you're yeah. blowing smoke up somebody's ass now. <laughs> not physical the therapy's fastest. tough degree it, to get. I can tell it you, it is because right. I helped him study. Yeah, that was it's it's a it's it's tough. It's, 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 tough yeah, but it's not easy. I fell ass backwards into right. YouTube. I mean, I had no. I'd never worked a camera. It's, it's not never like been on camera. AO doing his <laughs> two <laughs> right. dropouts out of community college. Right. Exactly. Yeah. yeah exactly. See, and look yeah. at him now. Now he's about yeah. to bust loose from the channel. Oh my God! Getting, now look at him. Getting paid to podcast. Yeah, Man, that's it's a right. crazy, crazy him. freaking yeah. world. But but my point is, I was almost I was like 28 when I started my channel. I think, and I didn't have any success till I was you know like 29, 30. So I mean, I yeah. fell, I it fell took ass you a damn backwards. near a year. Holy shit! No, it took well, it took a couple years. My first yeah. two years on YouTube, I was nothing. I mean, I didn't, I couldn't get views. Yeah. I mean, that's how everybody is when you first start. I mean, you right. got to. No. Trial and error. You got to find your place. And so and now you're Mr. Big Shot. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, that's what people tell <laughs> me. I don't know. I, I don't know. Oh, well, the, I know it. I was with him the other day now. Me and him went up there to get some oh, corn yeah, to go bait some hogs up good, now. Yeah. And uh, we go up there and, and you know, I, I've just met average Joe. I ain't done shit now. I was just a game where all I did was just put people in jail for a living. <laughs> so we go up there and there's two kids and they're giddy and they're giggling and all that. And I'm thinking, oh, I mean, are they, what are these guys doing? You know? And, <laughs> And they come in there and said, hey, do we know you? And uh, Lojo says, well, I'm Lojo. I got my own YouTube channel. 
And they said, oh, my God. And they had to take pictures, and, yeah. and I had to hold the camera for them. <laughs> yeah. I've been there, man. No, I've yeah, been there. Yeah. Daryl was, there was I, like, he said he was, he was my chauffeur. I, yeah, I said, well, I'm your chauffeur. I said, i got to pay him $100 a day just to drive him around. <laughs> No, and that they, was and they wanted my job. Yeah, that was funny. Those two guys, they definitely knew. They had seen me before. And it, yeah. It, but see, I don't, that's the thing. Me and him, he's badge the same way. Like, we don't, we don't walk around like we're big shots. But then when we, when we go out in public we and do anything. We as in you and badge or we as in badge? Well, I mean, I don't know. How do you feel about it, badge? How do you feel about it, badge? Um, I, I think when I get about 100,000 subs, my yeah. ego is going it's through the going roof. Going through the roof? No. I probably won't <laughs> talk to I either might. of you. <laughs> Anymore. My, I'm gonna start my own YouTube channel. When I get two subs, it's gonna be screw you, Madge. Yeah, screw you. Hey. And I got two. I mean, I got my both my sons. If they don't vote for me, I'll know. Who, I, better, I'll know who to contact. Anyhow. Hey, I would definitely subscribe to your channel, Darren. Man, I think you would beat me and Lojo into the ground if you started I, a channel. I, I'm telling you, if you had somebody to, could follow you around with a camera and everything you do, because you build stuff, you mm -hmm. hunt. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. you fish some. I mean, you you're and I screw you, up stuff. Yeah. You, that's right, and that's yeah. the key. So, but I mean, but you mm -hmm. you've got skill sets. You can do things with your hands, and a lot of people can't. Yeah, yeah. If you had somebody <laughs> who could follow. <laughs> Hey, speaking of that, y'all y'all have seen my dog Maga on the call, on, on the podcast or on the on the show. How many people have seen me knock my dog slam unconscious? Luckily, we were not rolling cameras when that happened. That's I'm talking about Jesus. Oh my God, we were really concerned. That was a bad. That was not a good that, that day. Was bad. And right I was there. glad to see that that that, what, that wasn't on your film. No, yeah, but I we did put, see, Jesus, which did. was most people didn't notice. Mm -hmm. on, on one of the one of your videos, and actually you and you and Badge had a big flare up over it, and I uh -huh. felt like I was guilty because I was kind of blame. Uh oh. And Badge grabs a bass, and I, I see where y'all having problems because I'm giving Badge hell, <laughs> and everybody saying yeah. you know Badge is a fuck up, and I'm responsible <laughs> for it. He can't, he can't catch fish, right? And I felt kind of bad about it at the time. Don't feel bad. <laughs> well, I don't now, but at the time I did. <laughs> okay. So Badge catches the fish. He, he pulls the fish up. He smacks the fish on the side of the boat. That's nice. right. And he said, I just Daryled him. <laughs> did you leave that in a video? Yes, he did. Did you put that in a video? <laughs> no. Yeah. I don't Nobody know. knows what that meant but <laughs> Megan. <laughs> when, when I hit Megan oh upside God. the freaking head oh with that piece God. of lighter. <laughs> you did not <laughs> leave with that, that in a video. With that piece of lighter not and not <laughs> my... I mean, this dog sleeps with me. He eats with me. He takes a shower with me. I mean... <laughs> Man, I did not mean to keep that in. <laughs> yes. We, that was, to, that was, we got to take a break. <laughs> He said, I just Daryl him, and I said, oh, my God. Man, I am we're, so sorry. We're gonna, wait, hold on. No. We're going we're gonna to circle back to that oh. in a second. We got we to gotta take a break. Oh. <laughs> okay, so let me – okay, I, I'm waiting for Badge to get his headphones on here. This is okay. – we've got, like, some breaking news here, and this is the most yes, hilarious thing I've ever seen. This is breaking news. Okay. Oh, so, gosh. Okay, so I got to give a little bit of backstory on this. So a, a few weeks ago, off camera – and luckily, everything turned out fine. But yes. you were throwing a stick to Allie, which was the dog we were talking about earlier, yes. who was and a retriever. And you were putting your feeder together. And we were putting a feeder together. Yes. And you accidentally swung the a stick too low. A piece of firewood, yeah. not a stick. Right. A piece of firewood. Thick. A thick, Couple inches. small log, basically. Yeah, exactly. And accidentally hit Maga, the small dog, who was jumping at you, probably. You yeah, didn't and everybody's even seen Maga on the channel. I mean, he, he's, yeah. like, he's like 10.4 pounds. Right, he's a tiny little dog. Yeah, he's and, like me. He's a tiny and you, fella. Yeah. And you cracked him, and... I, at the time, I mean, he was out. Oh yeah, he was up. I don't know if y'all ever seen Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, uh -huh. on the very when he when he has that fake dog uh -huh. and the fake dog's laying with his legs up. Yeah, and that's what yeah. my dog looked like. It did. I thought yeah. he was dead. I mean, I, I yeah, it. we did too. And we were really concerned. Oh, you, yeah, yeah, you well, took off. Were. Yeah, and I appreciate y'all checking up. We did. Yes, yeah, we were, did. we were thinking about it for thirty yeah. minutes afterwards. And you didn't I mean. put it on the video, which I thought you would because you were doing no, the video. I'm thinking, no, I said, oh, no. they're gonna put it on video. I'm thinking, we wouldn't do that. We would never do that. Well, I know, but I thought you would because I didn't know how I knew how Ao was. Right. Maybe Lojo. Keep him from doing it because I knew hey, you know, he's no, an asshole. We, what right, he right. Yeah. <laughs> no, we, and we both were really Lojo worried. Maybe put his foot down and said, no, we're not putting that shit on the video. Yeah, but, I was trying. But well, any, anyway, so the, the dog ended up being okay. Thank yeah, you. But I and, clocked his ass. But you clocked Knocked him, him unconscious. Okay. I'm it talking about scary. eyes it was rolled in yeah. the back of his head. It was very scary. Yes. Um, but, okay, so oh, Badge, gosh. 
in a video that me and him did shortly after that. Oh, like a day or two later. He was cranking in a fish, and me yes. and him were talking about whatever, and he slaps it up against the side of the boat <laughs> on yeah. entry, and he says, Gosh. I just daryled him. I just daryled him. <laughs> And nobody and, caught it. And you and you edit the videos, didn't yes. you? left that in there? He did. And I, I seen didn't, it. I didn't even hear it. Well, I know you did. And I commented on <laughs> it. I said, I said, Maga, don't think that's funny. <laughs> and I've never heard nothing back from it. So I, oh I knew that you didn't God. catch it. And I figured Badge didn't catch it. But I'm... I'm thinking, you know, but he Megan. edits the videos. Do you, I, yes. do you remember this? I said I didn't mean to leave it in. Mega, <laughs> <Okay>. I, <laughs> I messed said, up. Mega didn't think that was. Yeah, I just Daryl D. Oh my <laughs> and, god! And it's the video where you where, he, where actually I'll, I'll let, let let your readers know if, if they want to look it up. It's the video where he clocks him upside the head. He said, "I just Daryl D." <laughs> uh, well, I'm trying. <laughs> Which to, I felt bad. I mean, I'm trying to think of what I, video that was. I was sick was. on my freaking stomach, knocking my. I mean, this, I know yeah. this dog is. I mean, it means more than my. <laughs> yeah, so, that's I mean, your buddy, man. Yeah, I mean, oh. I got both my kids and then my dog. Right. And I mean, that's that's the that's, that's why we came I, by later that so day. Sorry. Yeah, and y'all we come were, by we to were, check on it. Yeah. We were freaked out about I am it. I'm so sorry. No, no, but, I thought it was hilarious. It, it is you, funny. I just can't believe funny. you didn't realize you left it in the video, and then Daryl <laughs> saw it. That's the funny. <laughs> but what was funny part. is you didn't catch the no. joke. Because he's not just Daryl him. And then yeah. you said the legend of Badger continues. Did I say that? Yes. And then he said, wait a minute. Now, we didn't discuss this. And then we had, yeah, okay. And then, okay. And That's then, when we were talking about how. And, and then you said, you remember when I screwed up my pond and I spent like thousands of yeah, dollars? I, I kind of remember. And I thought Mr. Beaver was going to dam up this pond there, and then we had some rain and it blew it out because, you know, I mean, I just. Dude, was, what video it, was this, Badge? Because you left a lot of stuff in that video, apparently. I don't know, man. I don't know. I got to go back and figure that? this out. I, I do remember. I remember. Yeah, I just daryled it. I. Just the, Thank God, Maga wasn't around there. If it, Maga would have heard that, I, I, I mean, I'd I still know. have to apologize. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Maga would have been offended. Oh my God! I, I just M- I, Maga would bite him every time. Yeah, he, you know, Maga was over here like, sitting in his lap. I know. Did not know yeah. Badge talked to, to him like that. Maybe it's one of those situations I, where whatever Maga doesn't know won't hurt him. You I, know? I, I it have could a, be. A, a super dark sense of humor. <laughs> he does. I, we, me and him, he does. Him. He really does. We I mean, both he, do. he, he really. Well, I think it's funny that he said that because Maga was okay. I would yeah, never. Exactly. If Maga yeah, had been yeah. hurt or killed, we would have never made that joke. No, Jesus. no, but no, the fact and, that he was okay and, makes and that's it what funny. got me. It was real funny. It's kind of like, <laughs> and I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this comment oh. on myself because you know, yeah, I'm not a skinny fellow. No I want you to show some of them pictures how I used to. Yeah, look like. no, yeah, we're gonna back, put some up on the back screen. Back when yeah. I used to whoop ass, take names. Oh yeah, we're gonna <laughs> put some of these up on the but screen. But we were on that hog hunting video, and and I don't mind, you know. Dig it on myself, you know. I, I'll give badge hell. I mean, every now and then, even though he did shame my ass day and catch the damn catfish while I was on yeah. the house, on Got my freaking pole. Oh, that was that's good. Yeah, that video's uh, coming that, out soon. That too. was freaking horrible. I mean, that's <laughs> absolutely worst thing could happen to me. <laughs> Yeah, that's I mean, why he left it as a surprise. Oh for yeah, you. I've been on head-on collisions in trucks. <laughs> oh, you know, I've, been, I've had plastic surgery. I've had hemorrhoids. Oh I, man, I never had something that bad happen yeah. in my life. It's <laughs> bad, catch a damn bass. All you needed was a YouTuber to move in next door, man. It's oh, just opening all kinds God, of crazy doors in your life. Yeah. You thought that your your uh, first thirty years in law enforcement went crazy, but uh, your next couple with the YouTuber as a neighbor, this shit gets crazy. It man. gets bad, and then bad bars my trailer and screws it up. <laughs> I, I, I damn things roll sideways now. <laughs> Frick me! Yeah. You put too much air in the tires. Yeah, put too much air in the tires. Keep it yeah. on the road. No, that's what I was trying <laughs> to say. Earlier. That's what you said. Because I had a heavy load, I swung by my weed dealer, according to Daryl. <laughs> weed weed and, dealer. And he that's, told me he was like, "Look, man, your your tires are about halfway empty." Yeah. So it turns out Daryl was trying to sabotage me. And on what? The way back. No. It all depends how you look at it. If it's half empty or half full, oh, right. See, you have a negative uh. attitude on life. If you would, <laughs> it could have been half full, Jesus. and then it would have been a positive attitude. That's your fault. I'm, I'm calling That's right your now. weed dealer's fault. This okay. is the best podcast we've ever done. I'm calling it right now. I, I just. When you were running off the road that day, that's literally what me and Bad said. Like, damn, we put too much air in yeah. the tires, yeah. and now it's, it's, just, it's bouncing all over the damn road. Gosh, I wish but, I could have uh, seen me Do we have out. time about my dope yes. deer story? Yes, Please we do. Tell me okay, about that we deer have story. 18 minutes. We're Eight, good. Well, 18 minutes. That's now, I want to tell you, time. I was hunting in a tree stand. Me and my buddy Neil, the guy you bought the property from, we had a, a club in there in uh, North Walton County. Mm-hmm. He's sitting in the stand. I'm sitting in the stand, and we're kind of minding business in the morning. I'm going to try to kill a deer. He's going to try to kill a deer. And back then, 
killing does was a no no. You know, now right. everybody and, and your brother kills does. Back mm-hmm. then, killing does was no, didn't have a lot of deer. So I'm sitting there probably 150 yards off the highway, and I hear a pow, I hear a shot right there on the highway. I said, son of a bitch, somebody done shot a damn deer right there on the highway. Yeah. So I jump out of my tree stand, run to my truck, drive to my truck, pull out there. There's an old redneck out there, and uh, he's done shot a doe out there on, in, the, in our field. Mm-hmm. I pull up there, block him from driving off, and uh, tell him who I am, show my badge, and tell him he's under arrest. So he, he claims he was shooting at a big six point with a shotgun, and the mm-hmm. doe happened to stand in the way and all that, and he shot the doe by accident. Of course, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So anyhow, I said, well, you, it don't matter what you did. You're still under arrest. Well, you know, you're still, it's, it's posted. You can't kill deer over here. Yeah. So I, I had no way to take him to jail. I mean, I'm in my personal vehicle. So I yeah. tell him, I said, you got to drive yourself to jail, buddy. And he said, I ain't going to gas my vehicle. So back then, gas was cheap. That's for uh, for old Biden prices. So I, I give him. <laughs> yeah, he's killing us now. Yeah. Jeez. I, I give him $2 for gas to yeah. stop at the, the gas station to put $2 worth of gas in his truck to yeah. go to jail. I said, I'll meet you down there. So I give him $2 for gas. He goes down there, fills his truck with the gas, and turns himself into the jail. Uh-huh. I go home, change into my uniform, call my boss, say, hey, I got to go to jail and meet, meet a guy. Mm-hmm. And I go up there, meet him. And you arrest him, take all the stuff and whatever. And uh, the next day, they, they actually turn him loose like they do everybody else. And uh, I go up there, and the lady that he, that he was actually on the property, her barn had burnt down. The That's next the day? One. The next day. Oh, my God. Yeah, or the next night, he went there and burnt her barn down. Just because he was pissed. Pissed and to let her know not to testify against him for trust. Oh, my God. So like an intimidation tactic, yes. basically. Yes. Damn. Yeah. So, so. Could, did they did they arrest him for that? The arson or could they? No, prove it? they never could prove he could done prove it. it but, but everybody knew. Yeah, yeah, but then you know, back I said this was in the early '80s, back when things were different. So I I mm-hmm. actually went over there like one or two or three o'clock in the morning. Yeah. To his house and had a little talk with him, and me and him had a discussion. We, me and him, both decided that we would go to jail, and he'd turn himself in again, mm-hmm. and he went to jail again. So I mean, he was okay. pretty cooperative when I got him out of bed yeah, at one o'clock good. in the morning. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say. I'm sure after your conversation with him, he was very cooperative. Yeah, he, so. yeah, he, he actually turned out to be a pretty nice guy. So. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. Did he do any time for that? The arson or, or the? Uh, I mean, did he? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I never I kept up with dis. You know, the dispositions probably not. Yeah. Back then, I mean, everybody and their brother was kin to the judge. Oh man. And, you know, so I mean, back, good old boy system. Yeah, back. Well, and that's not a bad thing. But back in yeah. the days, you know, I mean, they, you'd pay a fine and go do community service or whatever. I mean, I've caught people out there fishing illegal, like in, in net fishing or whatever, and actually waited out there, got in their boat with them, mm-hmm. and, and uh, caught them catching redfish illegal or whatever, and uh, the judge gave them, you know, community service. Yeah, you know, make, pick it up garbage or something. On okay, the beach. I guess it could be worse. I mean, yeah, for could sure. Got a huge fine or your boat impounded or something crazy. Well, but you know, back then they gave them a huge fine. They were weren't going to collect it. Yeah, so right. And then, got, we're, then what are you going to do? You know, then yeah. you got to track them down and yeah. So I mean, they they pretty much worked with the people. I mean, it yeah, uh, it makes sense. I mean, when I you were in the county, like everybody was related. Yeah, and that's one thing you found out. You didn't talk about nobody in that county because somebody was related, right? Brother-in-law, sister-in-law, cousin, third cousin, whatever. Yeah. So you didn't talk about nobody, and, and you know, if you if, you, if somebody went to court, the judge would actually I, the judge was actually a good friend of mine. He'd call me, you know, he'd say, "Hey, look up," and he would be honest. He's, "I got to do this. I got to do yeah. that." Right. And uh, so it worked out pretty good in the long yeah. run. So. Damn. You ever had any crazy encounters with game wardens badge? Or any, any kind of encounters? Or with like, you know, fish and wildlife, whatever you call them now. I don't even know if you call them, like Daryl said, there's not a lot of game wardens. It's just. There's no such thing as game wardens right. anymore. Yeah, there's, I don't know even what they call FWC them. FWC, or is yeah. that what they call them? Fish and game, or I don't know. I have fish no and wildlife idea. services. I, mean, I wouldn't. I've, I've, um. What about ex husbands? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you caught me off guard with it. Yeah, uh, well, I don't know. I'm, yeah, I'm just no, Badge is a one woman man. He's uh, a one woman man. Well, that's, that's right. That, that's good. But, uh, on podcast, he is, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> He's just making you cough laugh. So, Game Warden, you game got any warden. interactions that are worth talking about? I, I was really into spear fishing in high school. Um, okay, that's like, so that's underwater with the little spear gun mm-hmm. thing. Okay. And. 
dang, this is, I, I don't know how to discuss certain topics, but basically there's certain fish you can. Yeah. And certain fish you can't. Right. Exactly. And, and freshwater. That's, freshwater, that's there's like 99.9% you can't. Right. Yeah, yeah. Any game fish, I would imagine you can't right. spear right. fish. Yeah. And if you, if you do, you can spear fish as catfish. Right. You can or maybe like stuff. mud fish, or yeah. I don't know. You know, yeah. trash. I don't know. I've had a couple times where I've had a couple close calls. Catfish and YouTubers, about all you can get on. Them. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. But there's one of my one of the there's two sets of people that would spear fish the river that I was in, mm -hmm. and I didn't spear fish brim or bass. But these people that I knew went would, and they got caught, and they got put in for like months, really in jail for yeah. spear fishing bass, large bass. <clears throat> but they like the game one came down the river that mm -hmm. we would spear fish, and dude, it was tempting, man. It oh, was yeah. tempting oh, yeah. to shoot a bass. Yeah, you'd be down there, man. That yeah. water's clear. You got a big old shoulder. Oh, yeah. I yeah. actually shot a bass when I was about sixteen years old spear fishing. Yeah, I, I, I've yeah. That, when I was sixteen, uh, and it was Christ. tempting, and I did it. I did too. Damn. So yeah, I, I I've never done it. So I, I guess I, I, I guess you just have a to bunch be there. of water high since that old big old bass looking at me is like shoot me. I said, okay. I was like, that guy. <laughs> I didn't want to, but he, he begged me to shoot. Exactly. How, how big yeah. do you think he was, Daryl, legitimately? Uh, eight or nine pounds. God, that is a Darryl. sin. And that I've is a sin. And I've actually gigged one that actually went over seven pounds when I was frog gigging. Oh, my Darryl, God. stop it. Stop it. <laughs> you're, a, you're a retired game warden. You're about to get us all <laughs> put in jail. I've actually done that when I was a game warden. <laughs> oh, stop. God. But Jesus. thank God I'm retired. Yeah, that's the damn truth. We got your badge right here to prove it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. We're going to keep this on the podcast. You can keep it because I will never get it back now. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're going to figure out a way to mount it on the debt table or something. we got to got to do something cool with it, but... Good gosh. Um, so, so you just you knew those people that got put away, but you never had an interaction with. Well, that since Daryl went that hard, okay, I speared like a five pound largie <laughs> in the face. Okay, oh, here so we go. I have baby. it on my hip. Hey, okay, hey, and I, hey, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did too. And so I'm swimming down too, river. I got flippers on, and, and a I'm, bass in I'm your like pocket. 16, and I got a 15. <laughs> I got a fifty. I got a, a five pound bass tied to my hip. Okay, right. What and were got, you gonna do with the bass once you shot? I was gonna it? take it home. I, I was gonna eat it. Been there, Jesus done that. Christ! <laughs> I didn't think bass tasted that good. Oh, Look, they're, they're I would. Delicious. I would yeah. never do this again. Right. Obviously. Gosh, I feel bad for saying I, this. You should. I probably would. <laughs> I've actually. Done, I've actually done it at Lojo's pond. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. Where are them? De how are go these ahead. Bass, go ahead. These Anyways. bass keep ending up dead in my pond. Oh, now we yeah, know Daryl's out there sniping them. So I come up. And I see a game warden at the boat ramp that I'm oh, swimming sure. downstream oh, to. So you think he's there for you? The way I would do it, I would put in, I would swim upstream like 300 yards with mm -hmm. flippers on and then oh, yeah. down. Okay. But, yeah, so I got the fish on. Yeah. And so I dive down and hide my spear pole in the fish about 10 foot down. Yeah. And went back and got it a week later and he never caught me. I came out of the water and just acted like I was free diving. Wow. Yeah, what wasn't Daryl Johnson after your ass. I, I know. That. I was about to say. Yeah. But I've done the same thing. I was actually over Salt Springs. My mom and dad used to camp over there yeah. and used to swim. And back then, you could actually legally spear fish mullet in them springs. Mm -hmm. And they actually sold spear, the, the rubbers and all the free spear guns. And we'd go to them lily pads or high, water heists, mm -hmm. big old bass and striped bass. And kill them, and then you'd sneak them up there on the hill, up under the bullet pad, and hide them. Jeez. And then you'd get out. And I mean, I'm like 15 or 16. Yeah. yeah and then you'd go I back to the campground, and then you'd walk back from the campground yeah. back here and get your damn fish for a fish fry. Holy moly. I would say, I, I, that was eight years ago. I just want to say that was eight uh, this is, years this is ago. Pre, pre well, mine was 50 years ago, right. so we're saying yeah, that there's so, a big difference. So, so if we me. both get Sue put me. in jail, then. I'm blaming Daryl. There's no evidence. You could just say this. These, are, these are just stories. That's, yeah. you know, this is just a story. That's I all feel you have to bad say. for doing it, but well, it look, was man, awesome. How, how, how many bad. people haven't done dumb things or illegal things when they were 16? Yeah. I mean, come on. How yeah. many people drank drank a beer and drove down the road with their friends? And when you're 15 years old, foot I mean, deep on. in the hooch and you come right. over a log and there's a freaking big bass just, just staring, staring you in the you. face. Yeah. yeah. Or you don't know what it is and you're going to check it out. Yeah, I mean, I mean I'm, I'm not judging. I mean, I, I just I was never into that kind of stuff. But I my my list of dumbass or possibly illegal things when I was 16, 17, or even when I was in the army. I mean, Jesus Christ, that's a whole nother that's a whole nother podcast. But I mean, you know, I'm not gonna 
nobody should judge you guys for stuff like that. I mean, you know, that's no. I mean, if, if you hadn't done that, then you need just to hang around behind the computer or something. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, that's American, right now. But, that's what I'm saying. If you yeah. had speared a largemouth bass in the face, <laughs> in the face. Yeah, exactly. If, if you had been frog gigging and got either a gator or a largemouth bass. Yeah, you're not American. Yeah, I like. could definitely see gigging an alligator on the spot. Yeah, if you oh, were like, yeah. walk, like a little one if you're walking past one, I, I could see how that would be really tempting. Oh yes, oh yes. I mean, but there's just not much meat on one. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. There's just like there's a million alligators. There's so many of them. Right. I there's a lot of small ones. Yeah, a lot and, of. Small and y'all, ones. speaking of alligators, y'all fix to go on a big alligator hunt. We are. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. a good point. Yeah, I didn't even you're gonna find that. out that they're go- that. These little three or four footers, you don't want nothing to do with. Oh, I'm sure those will they'll they'll hurt you. I'm sure. Yeah, they're they're, they're quick. They, they're they will bite yeah. your ass. Yeah, but, exactly. Yeah, yeah. The difference between a three or four foot one, they will spin around and get your finger. Yeah, thirteen, yeah. fourteen footer spin around and get your head. Yeah, that's right. Oh Woo. gosh, dude. Yeah. If we see a thirteen footer on this hunt, that would be even if we don't get to kill it. If we could just see one. A 13-footer. You know how big a 13-foot alligator is? Dude, if I, if I, I bet what, four or five hundred pounds, probably. I, I mean, bet, hey, let me guess. I bet he's 13 foot. <laughs> Wait, you think? I, th- you, I bet you a 13 footer is 13 foot. <laughs> when I said how big is he? <laughs> he said, can you imagine how big a 13 foot is? Yeah. I just I, meant I'm just like, guessing. I'm just guessing. I thought you meant. I, I mean. <laughs> we were going to get bad. one that was 13 foot. Hey, bad. No, Help I'm me out not. Here. Do you I'm, think a 13-footer is 13 foot? <laughs> what do you mean? No, I'm just kidding. I mean, I'm just kidding. I'm well, just kidding. Well, said, can you imagine how big a 13-footer is? Well, when is? you say 13 and feet. And I'm just saying a 13-footer is 13 foot. Yeah. When I, you say, well, when you say oh, okay. 13 feet and then when you see 13 feet, those are two different things. Oh, so yeah. that's exactly right. I think because a 10-foot alligator is a big-ass alligator. You're damn right. 13-footer is substantially older it right. all depends whether he's got his mouth open or mouth closed. Right. Right. Jesus. Yeah. Well, hopefully the mouth will be closed after we boomstick mm-hmm. it and mouth hey, it. That sounded actually, dope. When we <laughs> <laughs> actually, when we get the head mouth, the head mouth will be open, though, right? The, well, it'll the, be semi-open. Semi-open. Yeah, semi-open, yeah. And you can do it either way you want to do it. Yeah. You can well, I'm a freaking mouth. rookie, so I just – me and yeah. Bad just want to go. We want to get the experience, and we just want to be a part oh, of it. Oh, you'll love it. I'm telling you, you'll love it. I'm, oh, I'm excited. I mean, the way it's been described to I us. Hate I hate mean, freaking alligators. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, with the state, when I hired on, we used to have to, have to catch them and remove them and lo- relocate them and all that because we didn't have gator trappers. So I had to catch thousands of alligators. Wow. Jeez. Thousands Jeez. of them. And – and relocate them. You ever been bitten? No, but I have come wow. so close to being bitten. You've it's shocked though that you've killed that many and never been bitten. Though. No, That's right. pretty not good killed odds. Them. Relocate or, or caught? Excuse me, right. caught and then relocate. Yeah, watch well, what uh, you're saying. But I was, <laughs> I, was bass so, spear I was so fast back in them <laughs> days. But anyhow, let me tell you about the first big alligator I ever got. I okay. got down there and I called. I got a good buddy of mine. He calls there at a, a, a bar down there, Nick's restaurant. I got a big nine footer been rolling the highway killed. Mm-hmm. I drive down there. I got a I got a Dodge Ram Charger. I don't know what Dodge Ram Charger is. It's got a hood. It's got a thing on the back that raises up. I pull down there. The gator's dead. They have seen the gator run over the highway. Mm-hmm. A bunch of drunks have loaded him up. There's a t. I mean a, a radio personality guy there that was there. Art Art whatever his name was was there giving a a, a play by play description mm-hmm. of me loading alligator. I had this the first alligator I've ever seen in my that I've ever handled in my life right. as a game board. I've been on like two weeks as a game board. Right. <clears throat> I backed my truck up to the other truck. I go out there and you gotta act like a professional. You gotta act like you know sure, what you're doing. Yeah. I mean I mean here's here's like fifty drunks in the parking lot <laughs> and I'm supposed to know what I'm doing. So I'm That's talking right. like I mean man, I act like you know badge is a bass fisherman like he knows what he's doing. <laughs> play the part. Right? Yeah, I play the part. Yeah, like I've caught one one time and another, but you know, I mean, right. so I'm, I'm acting like I have done this before. I back up. I grab the damn the alligator's dead. They right. done loaded some up. I grab my damn tail. The sun swings around and damn near takes my hand off in the back of the truck. He's alive. The son of a bitch is alive. Jeez. I jump out of the back of the truck in the back of my my and I hit the. the the, the uh, tailgate that Dodge Ram truck hit me on the back of the head. I fall face first in the parking lot. Damn near knocked me out. Oh, my God. The hatchback hits you? Yeah, the hatchback. And, and the, and yeah. the back of the head as you backed away? <laughs> so I get up. Oh I recuperate. I got a bunch. I got 50 drunks from a bar telling me what to do. Yeah. 49 of them are like badge. 
So I listen to the I listen to the fiftieth one right. and act like he was doing. So I tape his mouth shut, tape his legs up, drag his ass in the back of my truck. I go down because we weren't allowed to kill him back then. Yeah. We, had, we had to relocate him. So I go down to to Port Washington Management Area and to a, a lake in the middle of nowhere to relocate him. I back down there to a pond, <clears throat> open up a tailgate, let him out. Mm-hmm. And I got his mouth taped shut where you can grab like a, a rope and pull the tape off. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so I, I drag him out by the tail. He chases me back to my truck. <laughs> he takes his truck and smashes the side of my truck in. Actually, one of them pictures there is probably a side of the dent yeah. that he's smashing the side of my truck. I, I jump in my truck, and he is sitting there hissing at me with his mouth shut. And I leave him with his mouth taped shut. <laughs> you said, screw wa- you, dude. And put Washington Man in there. So if y'all see an alligator in this day and age that has his mouth taped shut in Point Washington, then you know that in 1982. Is that it? There is, there, a, is there a dent inside there might, the Yeah, there might be right there. Yeah, Take a there look. Might, that, I think I'm standing in front of the dent. Oh, okay. There's yeah. another one over here, but I don't think this one's it. Yeah, I think I'm standing in front of the dent. So if there's that like would have been the truck. So there's like an 18-footer by now because that's a really old alligator yeah, with tape I, around his mouth. Oh, yeah. Yeah, tape around his mouth. But he must have figured out how to eat somehow. So. Yeah, he's been uh. sucking through a straw. <laughs> <laughs> maybe somebody came across him and freed him. I don't know. Or maybe he just. Well, probably. Not, that's on the beach here now. I'm yeah, not, I'll kill you know. him for you. When me yeah. and Lojo go, I'll yeah, kill him for you. Yeah, we'll just go you. gig him. We'll I'll gig him. I'll throw him on that piece of crap trailer you got, too. <laughs> oh, no, <that> trailer. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is now. That but, trailer uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Nah. When we go on that gator hunt, we're gonna be looking for that bastard with a with his <laughs> mouth taste oh, taped he's, shut. He's mad. He's mad. Well, be we're careful. Going, be we're careful. gonna take. Yeah, it. yeah he's gonna be. He's gotta be huge by now. I'm he's scared. Still alive. It's gonna oh, be fun yeah. though. Yeah, it's gonna be intense. Yeah, uh, we're It'd not be gonna, like that old movie where that old woman's feeding that gator. At, yeah, what's, what's Lake, Lake Placid. Yeah, that's a damn a cow movie. or something. Yeah, she's yeah. sending oh, cows out. You ever seen that badge? Nah, that's a before my day That's a that's a that's a hell of a movie. If you like alligator, it's a giant crocodile. Probably. What happened to my gator? I'm thinking that's probably what happened to him. Yeah. Because he, I mean, he liked beef. I mean, look at me. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll prime rib. <laughs> but you weren't, you weren't beef back then. Though. I you liked were, beef, but he knew were, what I was going to look like. Yes. Yeah. He, he knew he could see the future. Yeah, he, he could knew. see the future. I mean, gators are not as dumb as what people think. No. Yeah. No, I, I would They've been around for Especially the ever. bigger they get, they probably get really smart. They've been around for a million years. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You cannot believe when he said, yeah, Daryl. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, actually, me, now you and him, mm-hmm. and three or four people I know will know what they're talking about. Right. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. gosh. I'm sorry to Daryl's no. family and friends. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious. No, it's, it's funny. It's, no, it's all right. funny. He's a good sport. It, yeah. Yeah. It's I funny. Just, yeah. We're we, still over here reminiscing about the whole he Daryl'd him incident. I hope now you guys understand exactly. I, I think we've told it about as well as we can. Yeah. So either you get it or you don't, but it's pretty damn <laughs> now that yeah, we're all it's sitting here talking about it. you're not mega. Right. That's He's right. the only person uh, that doesn't yeah, think it's my funny. My dog is, but. did not appreciate it, but I mean, he got. <laughs> if, if y'all watch Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, and y'all see that fake dog that he turns where his yeah. paws are straight up in the air. I know exactly what you're talking that's about. That's what my dog looked like Jesus when I daryled him with that dang piece of firewood. <laughs> and uh, Frick me. Him and that bass <clears throat> looked the same. Yeah. Oh, frick me, frick me. <laughs> That's great. I felt horrible. Well, I, mean, I felt horrible. I still, I still feel horrible. I mean, I, I, I still oh, have nights where I think about that where I could have killed my dog. Well, he's good. He made it. So oh, yeah. he's a tough dog. So, but, uh, but on that, that was funny. I mean, yeah. that right there. That's what I told you. That is a classic. Somebody that that just thinks off the cuff. You know yeah. I mean? When 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 Ao said that and you didn't catch him. No. Yeah. I caught it. I did because I did. Yeah. And Megan. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but when you said that, I said, I said that that son. That son of a. Bitch. Yeah, he's funny. <laughs> I mean that that was a good line right there. I'd be mean, like that motherfucker's hilarious. Yeah. No, he <laughs> is. He's a lot funnier than an he is. inside joke. But yeah. you come up with that that quick. I know. I mean, yeah. It ain't like he said, I'm going to smash this bass's head up against the side of my boat, <laughs> and then I'm going to make a joke about Daryl's dog. Right. Yeah. yeah. So he just, it, you know, he didn't think of that. I don't think he did, did you? No. No. Like said, oh, no. Or did you? That was just no. fresh, fresh no, off the dog. Smash that fish's yeah. head up. <laughs> just intensely to make fun no. of my dog. No, I swear. Oh, am, am I ever going to 1980 game warden on you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. I swear. Oh. Here we go. Um, that was pure head bashing accident. Uh, yeah, I, did, I, I 
I just thought that was an accident. Now I found out it's the truth. He just thought yeah. it was there ain't no, no, it no, was no, funny. It I mean, was funny. It was almost funny as that guy said it. That uh, Daryl needs to hunt a hog and he's hunt a salad. I thought that was. Yeah, funny. that's that was that, that was that fucking was funny. Right there. It was a hater, but it, sometimes that was a hater. But I, that, I'd buy that hater lunch. Yeah, yeah. Some, I'd buy sometimes him a salad. You wouldn't cook him any of your good food. Yeah, hell no. no. So you're gonna get lettuce. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> and maybe a drop of ranch dressing. That's, That's it. all you're gonna get. Just tease him with it. Well, teasing with it. On that note, boys, we're way over time here. This is one of the longest podcasts we've ever done, but one of the most fun we've ever had. I think. Yeah, doing a podcast. I've enjoyed it. I mean, we're tired as hell. Me and Badger sick. I have bronchitis. Daryl's been cooking for us this evening. We're all freaking tired, but this is yeah, this is the most fun I've had on a podcast in a long time. Yeah. But uh, we are gonna have to sign off here. But uh, Daryl, you know you're welcome back anytime. And all right, you know well, I'll we get y'all over here. Yeah, we, we yeah, want you. Well, you. We, you know we want you to keep being on the channel as you are now because you you know you help you help us out a lot behind the scenes. People don't even know you helped me build that that animal pen, which I haven't even put that video out yet. As long but, as uh, Badge leaves my dog out, <laughs> leave his dog out of the jokes. <laughs> leave my dog Badge. out of it. Uh, yeah. I cannot believe this. I, I still don't know what how serious that was. When he uh, daryled my dog. I'm sure it wasn't 100% serious. Yeah, but, I know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but I can't believe that you didn't catch it. No, I didn't. I, yeah, and I, I, to this I day, I don't even. I want y'all to look. I don't know if we're still on. on. Yeah. I want y'all to look at that video. No, we're going to put it up. And I want 10,000 likes. If y'all, <laughs> if y'all put 10,000 likes out there, All right. then I will donate a fishing rod and reel. Oh, to, uh, actually, I will, I will give it away to a subscriber. I'll get 10,000 likes on that video go. where or Badge says I dare to. Actually, I'll give that. Actually, uh, Lojo gave me a Guggen rod and reel. That's right. I did, yeah. That he actually used. Are you going to give that one away? Yes, I'll oh, give that man. away. That's a good, that's yes. a good combo. I'll give that's that got a Stratico. That's got a Shimano Stratico. And, it, yeah, and, it actually, or, uh, and actually, Lojo Daiwa. used it. I mean, I've, I've had people come over and get, I have had my picture taken with it, that rod, <laughs> because Lojo used it. That's true. Yeah, well, there you go. I mean, we'll, what we'll do is we'll link the video in the description, and we'll also maybe play a clip of it when we were talking yeah. about it earlier. Yeah. So we'll, we'll make sure we get it covered, because I want to see it anyways, so. Yeah, y'all but, look uh, at it, and I will give that rod and reel to a subscriber. The AO picks, piss on Lojo. <laughs> they will pick because you know Lojo has favorites. Yeah, that's true. So we'll yeah, let AO let pick badge pick the, the subscriber who gets that rod and reel. That's a nice. It's a, it's a and Guggen finesse rod. I will personally mail it to him. It's a Guggen finesse rod, and it's like I think it's a Daiwa. That's what it. it's a Daiwa yeah. Tatula, maybe or it's or it's a. It's a t- it is that what it is? Tea. Okay, yeah, then it's, it's a tie. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yes. that's what it is. Yeah, yeah I, I remember that. That's a nice a combo. It's nice. That's a nice combo. It's really, so. really it is nice. a nice combo, and yeah. I actually showed a buddy of mine that, and I and he really loved it. But it is a really nice rod and reel, and I will give it to a subscriber. Like I said, you know, just love Joe using it. It's worth. You know, telling, I mean, there's monetary values. You team using it. <laughs> I don't know. That was and a good I combo. I might even go catch a fish on it for you. I'll give it away. You should. You yeah. should. You should, should. Absolutely. Yeah. You should catch one in the backyard pond is what you should I do. Should. Catch yeah. one of them big-ass bass that we got. There's one of them there. bass you spirit. Speaking of yeah. that. <laughs> spirit when you catch it. Speaking of that, I don't know. But, I, you know, I went up to the house early, earlier today. I had some, mm. some chicken. And I went to the house, and I left my, like a $10 rod and reel down there. Mm-hmm. And I heard that Lojo, I mean, that A.O. caught a fish off my rod and reel, I was going. He did. Uh, he he did. did. And then he put smart. it in the cooler as a surprise to you because he knew you were going to look in there. Um, I know, but I don't believe it. <laughs> we're going to have I, video evidence. So. I've seen a fish in the cooler. I don't know who caught it. I think we had we, we, we had cameras going for that, didn't we? Yeah, we did. You were wearing a chesty. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, we got we got some yeah, documentation. I, I've seen the fish in the cooler. I don't know who caught it. It's kind of <laughs> embarrassing to me, though. I mean... <laughs> Well, you gave him the equipment and the chicken skin that he well, caught him on. So that was still, at least I mean, an assist. Well, but I wasn't one. there to help him and talk him through That's it or true. nothing. I mean, it, and he was yeah. looking for you, too. He, he needed had, you there. He had no you. more support than nothing. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it's unbelievable. He caught a fish by himself. I mean, yeah. He did. Yeah. He's on a roll, man. Ever since you uh, called him out a couple couple vids back that he never caught a fish in front of you, he's been making it a point. I had to hit rock bottom <laughs> to, <laughs> to start over. Sometimes. That's what it takes. Hit yeah. rock bottom. That's what it yeah, takes. So. When you hit rock bottom, there's no way but up then. That that's right. Exactly. That's right. Exactly. So exactly. he's slowly climbing. Yeah, he's that, climbing I mean, up. I'm climbing out of this I, deep, dark I hole. I feel better now about making you do that then. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I, appreciate, I needed it. I needed it. Yeah. yeah he you did. It. You pushed him. You pushed him to become a better angler, and he's been doing a hell of a lot better since then. He has. So. And one day, one day, his YouTube videos will take off. Yeah. 
His most recent one's taking off right now. Oh, this, I had to the, do the, the boat. Or when he destroyed, yeah, when he destroyed your trailer to second yeah, boat. Yeah, destroyed my trailer and sunk that guy dang <laughs> uh, boat in your pond. Yes. Yeah. Stole, stole. He should have just put damn trailer out in the pond, too. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that would have been even better. Just yeah, you yeah, should have just took the trailer boat and yeah, everything out there and put it yeah. in the pond. That would have been something. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, mean, I don't my, know if you'd be here on this podcast yeah, if we had done that. Yeah, I mean, my that. trailer looked like, look like a damn boat. <laughs> it does. It's it does. blue now. It's Jesus blue. It's, it's horrible. All right. Well, as a matter of fact, I had the sheriff's department come to my house. They said that boat was wanted in a double murder. Oh, Jesus. I had yeah. to dump it somewhere, you know what I'm saying? It's <laughs> a good place to dump it. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my God. I told him I didn't know nothing about it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, too. Still I still don't know nothing about it, but yeah. It, still. I was just water testing the damn thing. I <laughs> yeah, I mean, I had yeah, to deal with that. Had, yeah. 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 <laughs> Mm-hmm. Oh well, my gosh! This is that point in the podcast where it goes off the rails. <laughs> so that's 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 always when you know it's time to go. That's right. But uh, dude, it's been fun, man. Uh, appreciate having you, Daryl. Yeah, yeah. Really nice. appreciate if, if, it. If y'all will call one eight hundred like like five two one six one thousand, report any information you have on badges right. double murder on that boat. Yeah, the, yeah. And, and the the registration number I think is in the yeah video, the registration so number's on the video. You'll right be able there. to see yeah, it. if y'all if y'all will report that. <laughs> you know, yeah, Christ. the sheriff's department would be, appreciate that. I mean, uh, it'll be real easy to find the nose of it sticking out of my pond right yeah. now. So yeah, it's yeah. not exactly. hard to find it. Exactly, at all. it's um, covered in a pile of speared bass from Daryl. But <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> If you look through that, it ain't spared. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, but, but yeah, uh, y'all, y'all, y'all let them know it's been like a, du- like a double murder. We're going to literally have the sheriff's department coming out here like, <laughs> yeah. y'all joked a lot about that. Is there, are there yeah. bodies in that boat we or what? We need to wrap fast. Yeah, we need to wrap it. All right, so yeah. horrible. Thank you guys for watching, listening, whatever you're on, Apple Podcast, YouTube, whatever. You know what to do. Smash the thumbs up button, subscribe, follow, whatever. Leave us a five-star review. <laughs> Get in the comment section. I know you guys are going to have a ton of reactions to all these stories that Daryl dropped on us, all the pictures from his old days, and just the general craziness of this podcast. It's been really fun. Yeah. Got to do it again. But until next time, love you guys. Love you guys. We'll see you later.